Hi, I'm James. In this video, we will look at what's new in Shortcut version 24.01. Let's dive in. So Shortcut version 24.01 have quite a number of changes and it is called round and round. And the main thing is there is a player loop control. And how it works is under the player here, not the editing tab, the player tab, you have this control to loop your video continuously. And there are a few options that you can loop this video. You can loop this, loop the entire video clip or the entire video, loop the marker, loop selection or loop around the cursor. First off is looping all. And when you have loop all, the video will play in a continuous loop. So this will be useful if you are editing, say, those continuous video, which is quite popular in social media. Okay, so this is how it works. The video will loop continuously until you uh, pause it or stop it. Now I'm going to show you another one which is called loop around the cursor. So when you select the option uh, loop around cursor, uh, shortcut will loop one second uh, ahead of that cursor point and one second after that. So for example, my cursor now is at uh, the two second mark. So one second, you can see the faint blue bar over here from one second mark to the third, uh, three second mark and it will loop from there to there. Okay, sorry, let's play this. Okay, now next under with this new version of shortcut, you can actually group uh, certain clips together. So let's say I'm going to split this and I'm going to split this over here. And let's say I'm going to uh, add this from my source window and just place this clip over at the uh, track above. Okay, and let's say I want to uh, select these three clips. So I can select this by making a window and selecting it. Now, with the timeline, if you go to the timeline option, go to selection, you can actually group or ungroup, or you can also click on Control G. Okay, so with this, or the clips that were selected will turn, will have a, a white background, a white border, and you can move it. Okay, so once it is grouped, you can continuously move them around. You can also change it to another uh, track. So let's add a video track. Okay, let's move this. So let's say I select one, I can actually just move it. And this will come in handy if you have uh, many, many edits. For example, if you have uh, clips that you were cut and you want to move this uh, group somewhere else, you can also do that, okay? Now there's also an option to split all tracks at the playhead. Now if I click all, all clips at the playhead, you notice here that the clip here has been split as well. So if you have say four or five uh, tracks or four or five clips stacked up, you can actually sp uh, split all those at the same time. Again, it is very convenient to uh, use this feature. Now you can also uh, use your keyboard shortcut. Let me undo that. For example, uh, S is for splitting one uh, particular track and one particular clip. Let me undo that. You can also split this with Shift S and this clip has been split as well. Next is nudge forward or nudge backward. Let's select this clip and let's say I want to move it slightly. Now in the past, it is quite hard to move your clip slightly unless you have very good mouse or mouse control. Uh, you can by basing on the time code that's on the screen. But now you can use keyboard shortcuts to nudge it forward or backward by using the full stop or the comma. I'm going to use the uh, full stop to nudge it forward. As you can see, the clip will uh, move forward and if I'm using the press on the comma button, it will actually nudge backward. Very very handy to precisely locate your media clips. If you head on over to settings and go to backup, you can now backup hourly, daily or weekly, which means a uh, shortcut will automatically backup your project. Now I suggest that you put it as short as possible uh, to hourly, that's my take on it. For me, sometimes I prefer my to back up my project as I'm working and I will actually prefer a sh even a shorter time frame. It is something very useful, so uh, do turn it on to ensure that you do not forget backing up your video project. There are other features as well, and one of it is actually File Other Versions. If you head on to Shortcut, go to File Other Versions. Uh, with this, if you have any old uh, similarly named files, for example, an automatically backed up a version of that project or maybe an earlier revision then 
if you want to search for it you can actually use other go to file other versions and look for it and shortcut will try to locate those files this is extremely useful if you uh, say save your project uh, partially as you edit as uh, version 1 and then subsequently you save it for version 2 and you want to revert back to version 1 you can do that easily all right so there are many more things uh, in this uh, new version of shortcut do try it out and uh, i hope that you learned something new from this video if you like it do give it a thumbs up and check out the links in the description for my full official shortcut video training course